I live in Tokyo. In the past week or so, the sakura, or cherry blossoms, have been blooming. Our apartment is on Sakura Zaka, or literally Cherry Blossom Hill. While making this video, I wasn't sure about how much I wanted to address COVID-19. This video is a little late as we have been adjusting to different family members working from home. I am editing this on Monday, March 30th, and Tokyo has not yet been on lockdown though our numbers are increasing and many are expecting it to happen soon. I've been pretty much well practicing social distancing and these clips are from my walk to go grocery shopping. I figure the best way for me to help in this situation is to continue practicing social distancing, washing my hands, and making videos as normal. We all have different challenges during this pandemic, and I don't want to trivialize anyone's situation. So I'm just going to hold up my normal routine. One of my pen friends said that watching my videos was very soothing. I'm pretty sure that's code word for boring. So let me bore you with a review of Sailor's Plus Time Sailor Cherry Blossom Limited Edition Pro Gear. First, let me give you some insight into my Sakura obsession. Sakura Washi Tape, Sakura Eraser, Sakura Kakuno Pen, Sakura Stickers, Sakura Stationery, and my pen pals can be expecting this pretty soon. Sakura is pretty much, well, my chocolate or kryptonite. I'm going to talk about irrational collecting in another video. So let's start with the unboxing. This is a collaboration between Plus and Sailor. So it comes in a light pink box with Sakura on it and the Plus and Sailor sign. Inside is a special edition pink ink. The pen itself, which is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. And the paperwork and a notebook by Ka Crea, that's C-A dot C-R-E-A. The front of this notebook says Ka Crea A4 over 3. It's not an A4. And it's not an A3. On the back, it says it is something called an A4 times one-third size. And it's approximately the same size as a traveler's notebook. Inside is cream-colored grid paper. This is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Sailor's different sizes are pretty confusing, especially since they don't call the same pen the same name between Japan and other countries. The Goulets have just started carrying Sailor pens and they put out a video that explains each size pen. I'll leave a link in my description box because it really clears up a lot. Up until I saw that video, I was constantly asking Bruno Tot of Chronicus Istilographicus, no, no, what size pen is that? What kind of nib does it have? I mean, it took me a little while to figure out that King of Pen was a size and not like a model. And, and why do they call it King of Pen? It's like that Starbucks Tentra, Trenta, or whatever that thing's called. Why don't they just call it Giant? But I digress. Though this pen is a special edition, this review is mainly about the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. One of the annoying things is that the sailor doesn't match the color of the converter to the rest of the color of the hardware, even though it's a demonstrator. And to make matters worse, the silver always comes with the white knob and the gold always comes with the black knob. So if you want gold with a white knob, you're going to have to buy two converters and then trade them out. I learned that from mid -ICAT. Since this is a Pro Gear Slim, it has a 14 karat gold nib, and this one has Sakura laser engraved on it. 
And another difference on this special edition is that it has a clear feed. Here you can see it inked up and it's resting on a specimen of fluorite. And there's a little cherry blossom on the finial. Here is the difference in size with the straight up Pro Gear, which is their medium size with the 21 karat gold nib and the Pro Gear Slim. The Pro Gear Slim is a tiny pen, a very slender pen. Here I'm holding it unposted. You can see how long it is. Fine for maybe a smaller hand, but not so much, I think, for very large hands. But if you post it, then it should be okay. The section is pretty slender. Here I'm holding the straight up Pro Gear, and it's a little bit longer than the Pro Gear Slim. Here you can see it's a little bit shorter than a Pilot Kakuno, and the nibs are about the same size. Here it is with another Pro Gear Slim, the Hawaiian Ripe, and next to a straight up Pro Gear, it's a little girthier and longer. Here it is compared to a Sailor 1911 Standard or Profit. And as you can see from trim ring to trim ring, they're the same size. It's just that the Profit has a little bit more of a bullet type end. And here it is compared to a, a Platinum Sentry 3776. And you can see the 3776's nib is significantly bigger. And compared to a Franklin Christoph 46. And the nib looks pretty tiny compared to it. Okay, let's ink it up. Here you can see the design on the ink bottle matches the barrel. This ink is kind of a complex pink color with a lot of other different colors in it. Here you can see the um, tissue I use. You can tell that it is going to be kind of an interesting color. I'll try it first on Tamoa River. And like my other Sailor nibs, it's a very smooth and pleasant writing experience. It's kind of neat that you can see the ink on the clear feed there. And since this notebook came with it, I thought I'd give it a try on writing on it. And again, it's a lovely, smooth writing experience, though I still prefer to write on Tomoa River. Paper other than Tomoa River always feels like it's a little bit coated to me now. Again, notice the length of the pen in my hand. I had uh, no problem writing with it at all. I enjoy that size, but it may be too small for some people. And like many pink inks lately, it looks so much nicer when you use a thicker nib or uh, maybe a folded nib. And here's the ink on the uh, cream paper of the included notebook. And here they are side by side, the Tomoa River on the right, and then the cream colored Kakria paper on the left, which definitely makes the pink look a little more peach colored. So you can see what it looks like when I write with this medium fine nib with pink ink. I wrote out a letter on Sakura Stationery, and as you can see, it shows up pretty well. It's convinced me enough that I may use pink ink for just general writing. And here are the ink splotches, and you can see it borders on chromo shading, where it shades in a little bit of light blue. And as to be expected, the chromatography showed some purple, pink, yellow, and green. I think there is a strong trend toward this kind of ink. And for funsies, I've been trying ink splotches on black paper. And basically what shows up is a little bit of yellow. So the Sailor Pro Gear Slim is a 14 karat slightly bouncy nib that is a smooth writing experience. It's slightly smaller than a Kakuno, but the nib is about the same size. This pen is sitting on a slab of feather pyrite from Germany. This is Sakura lit up at night near my apartment. There are like a gajillion special edition Pro Gear Slims and Pro Gears here in Japan. One of which is Moonlit Sakura, which I'll talk about in another video. I'll leave you with some extraordinary scenes of snow falling on Sakura. This weird weather phenomena contributed to our general feeling of unreality here in Tokyo, much like I think the rest of the world is feeling.